A small group of homeowners across the U.S. live in replicas of famous properties that let them admire the style, symbolism, and historical cachet of the originals. In Harriman, Utah, self-described Disney fanatic Lynette Hamblin and her husband, Clint, paid roughly $400,000 for an uphouse, a home resembling the one pulled skyward by balloons in the 2009 animated movie. Home builder Blair Bangerter constructed the house in 2011. He recreated the interiors as well, with custom-made armchairs for characters Carl and Ellie, authentic knickknacks on the mantle, and a floor plan deduced from repeated viewings of the movie. In St. Charles, Illinois, Ellen Roberts and her husband Ted were planning to build a house in a new subdivision. She spotted her ideal home on a trip to Richmond, Virginia. It happened to be the executive mansion, the governor's official residence since 1813. They completed their replica in 1995 on the one and a quarter acre lot they had bought in 1993 for $150,000. In McLean, Virginia, one-time presidential candidate John Huntsman is selling his house for $4.2 million. The seven-bedroom home was modeled after the governor's palace in Williamsburg, Virginia, that housed the state's governors until 1780. In Center Island, New York, Sean Elliott marketed a 21,000-square-foot limestone reproduction of the Petit Trianon at the Palace of Versailles to his wealthy Chinese clients. It sold in 2013 for over $9.5 million with furnishings. In Morgan's Point, Texas, Judy Masson recently lived in a 1924 replica of the White House that she bought in 2013 for $3.2 million. The house is one of at least half a dozen miniature versions of the president's home. As Mrs. Masson says, we have eight-year-old twins. When we first moved into the mansion and there was something on TV about the White House, our kids would run to the TV and say, look, our house. 